video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Timothy Fosu Mensa. Yes, another one of the young players at Manchester United that's been able to get game time in the first team after all the ridiculous injuries that have plagued that club. And just like plenty of the other players before him, like of course Marcus Rashford who have really stepped up, so has this man, Timothy Mfosu Mensa. He's definitely been holding his own considering his age, considering his experience. He's definitely doing quite well. He's even been able to get forward and really help out on the attack. In fact, I think he actually scored an assist, or should I say, got an assist in his last game. And with the spotlight now finding its way onto him, and of course, everyone starting to talk about him and him getting real game time, you know what that means. He's getting an upgrade in FIFA 16, a potential boost, and let's take a look at his player right now. So Fosu Mensa is a 65 rated centre back with for his stats and of course for his overall pretty nice well rounded attributes not anything amazing but around high 60s to low 70s which is good decent ball control and of course heading accuracy passing so we can play the ball out from the back and decent ball control that's always very nice and important to have for of course the centre back he's got very good shot power which is pretty interesting decent defending for his overall as well as centre back and CDM of course as well 4 star weak foot which is great right footed medium attacking and defensive work rates no speciality no trades, but a potential of 82. Definitely not bad for a guy that was only added into FIFA 16 about a month or so ago. So there you go, Timothy Fosu Mensa. Now, let's take a look at him in his first season, and immediately we see a plus three overall increase, which is very nice. And of course, you'll absolutely take that. Good form, very happy morale. We've got mental and technical growth this time, no physical, but then again, not too bad because the physicals are the physical stats are pretty decent. Of course, like I said, around that 70 mark, it would be great to see maybe the strength and the pace maybe get up a little bit better. Stamina, of course, as well, but technical-wise, He's really turning into a very, very nice player, an outfielder just in general, not just specifically a center back. He's got very good ball control and passing. It's pretty crazy for a centre back to have his best stats be his short passing and his shot power rather than his actual defending stats like tackling. But either way, we're starting to see that slowly maybe become rectified as a plus four overall increase in the second season. That's now plus seven in the first two. This is going brilliantly right now. And again, still no physical attribute growth. It's all mental and all technical. The aggression you see is up in the 80s. The first stat to hit the 80s for Timothy Fosu Mensa. And then again, slide tackle, stand tackle. Now getting around that overall about 72 and 73. The short passing and the shot power is great, and he's really becoming super well-rounded. It's been a brilliant first two seasons with Fosu Mensa, but can he top it off in this third season before we skip ahead to 2025? He can, maybe not as well as what he's done before, but it's a plus two overall increase, and now that takes him to 74 at 20 years of age. No physical growth throughout those entire first three seasons. It's all been mental, all been technical. Every single mental and technical stat went up in the past two seasons, but this time we only see, from what's being indicated, just a handful of technical attributes. So the ball control getting toward the 70s or now in the 70s, Short passing, the passing keeps getting better. Defending stats actually didn't go up by that much. Shot power's going up by heaps. Heading accuracy, Timothy Fosu Mensa. He's a strange center back, but he's still a glorious one. But that's the first three seasons done and in the books. It's time to go all the way to 2025. What will his overall be? Let's find out. So here we are, 2025 with Timothy Fosu Mensa. Another one of the big up and coming players at Manchester United to keep your eye on in the future. He's looked pretty good so far, but what will his rating be in 2025? An 82 overall in the final season in 2025 at 27 years of age. Good form, very happy morale, and that is his potential hit. Bang on in the final season at 82. So, there we go. Now, let's take a look overall at the stats and everything. We see, of course, stand tackle, shot power, short passing, heading accuracy, and slide tackle. They're all very decent stats and all reflect his overall around 82. And then he's got some great other stats to accommodate that. The passing, the ball control as well. Dribbling, decent dribbling. Shot, um, uh, the finishing as well, the crossing. He really does have great everything apart from volleys, maybe free kick accuracy. That's fine. We can always get someone else to take the free kicks. Curve and penalties. Apart from that, very decent stats considering the overall. Good mental, decent physical as well. Again, super well-rounded, but didn't really jump up by an awful lot. The pace has gone up by a bit. Strength and reactions by a bit as well, but still. 
I am super happy with that. This guy, of course, maybe it definitely took a very long time for him to get up in toward the 80 rating. So maybe if you're a big team looking for a younger player to sort of hopefully rise up the ranks and become a starting level player further on down the track in your career mode, Timothy Fossi Mentor, maybe if you put the training into him, because again, no training was used in these uh, 10 seasons, of course. Maybe if you put the training in, he'll get up there a lot faster, but he could be a fucking sensational road to glory pickup. I honestly think he could be a perfect road to glory center back. But that was Fossi Mentor in 2025. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave in the comments down below any other plays that you would like me to do next. And until next time, guys, my name's Master Bucks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.